Holy Look at all this damage. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and thank you for clicking on the video. As you saw in those first couple clips, Sevagoth's Augment with the Bibionico with Arcane Avenger, uh, this gun is absolutely insane. You've got infinite ammo, you've got a pellet-based shotgun with an alt fire that is also AoE. Uh, you're priming targets, taking advantage of galvanized shot, and you just see right here, the evidence speaks for itself. This gun is Holy crap, broken. I, I don't use that word very often. You guys know I don't do clickbait, but holy crap, this shit is broken. Um, it is absolutely insane how strong this combo is, considering the fact that the weapon has infinite ammo. Um, and as you see here in the gameplay, these are just the highest armored enemies that I normally test against, and they it treats them like they're nothing. Absolutely nothing. You prime them up with the viral, the heat, the corrosive, the slash, all of those extra, all that bit of extra damage is really going in and just completely destroying these enemies. Um, so let's, let's get into the build. As you can see, all the stats are pretty balanced. Now, without the Archon shards, he's not nearly hitting 200% uh, percent strength. I do have uh, quite a bit of uh, red shards in here, so if, if you don't have those to spare, don't worry. Um, these are really only benefiting. I think it mathematically comes out to maybe 20 or 30 more critical chance. So it's not the end of the world if you don't have them. Um, you know, just manage how much uh, crit chance you want because it does scale with strength. So as you can see here, I have 100, 102% increased uh, critical chance. So 200% gives you about 100%. So pretty nice. Now, back to the main thing. Uh, the Bubonico. So here is what I'm running with the Bubonico. What is super duper nice about this thing is you can hit about 90% uh, crit chance with critical uh, deceleration and then this ribbon I have. Now you're probably thinking, God, that ribbon looks like crap. What it, what, what is that? Corrosive and crit chance? Like where's the multi-shot and critical damage? Um, well, here's the thing. So the alt fire actually comes with viral already. So you have heat, viral, and corrosive uh, so you hit that alt fire you prime them up and then you hit them with the main shot and you have galvanized uh, savvy plus shotgun vendetta and that's why you're seeing uh, all that damage now a lot of people troll me and wonder why I run eclipse and not roar that 820,000 damage is why I run eclipse over roar uh, that amount of damage will one shot anything um, it's too bad when I faced the Acolyte, I didn't have everything up and running at the time. Um, and obviously if my numbers were a little bit smaller, I probably would have hit more shots. But as you can see, it chunks really, really hard. Uh, this is a weapon with infinite ammo. And, uh, so you're, you're going to be able to spam this thing constantly and not have to worry too much about the reload because, um, even though the, the Riven here has negative reload speed, I've got Tactical Pump. I don't have Prime Tactical Pump. I didn't buy it when Borrow came around, but I'll get it with the Tenocon Relay. And then you've got Shotgun Vendetta, more reload speed. So you are spamming this thing constantly with Corrosive, Heat, Slash, Impact, and Viral. And everything is getting added up in damage because of Savvy here. And yes, the Alt Fire doesn't benefit from Savvy, but the main shot does. So you prime them with the, the Alt Fire and then shoot them with the main shot. And it is just ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. Uh, what's really nice too is if you have a Smita Kavat and you get that crit chance buff, it makes your alt fire get orange crits. It's super insane, like you saw in that gameplay. Um, and it, here, I'll keep showing some more here and I'll, and I'll talk over it. I want to mention too that you are able to do a whole lot of damage while only using like five mods. Um, this gun is super slept on. In fact, I was able to buy those two ribbons you saw for 40 plat each. Un 
rolled. The Bubonico is completely slept on because it's been nerfed. Uh, there are better AoE weapons, so to speak. You know, there are better weapons in general, yada, 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 yada. Go buy a Riven for the Bubonico. You'd be able to find a, a whatever roll, even unrolled for 40 plat. I mean, you could sell a Wisp Prime chassis and get 50 and still have 10 left over. Go get a Riven for this gun. Give it a shot. Roll it a couple times. Um, I know some people don't like using Rivens. They don't like its like mandatory nature for it. But um, even without it, I mean, you can still hit Corrosive Heat. You maybe just don't run uh, Tactical Pump. And you can still use Blaze and replace the Riven. So you still have uh, Shock and uh, Toxin. So you can still get Corrosive. It's still doable. Um, but uh, it's in fact, you know, you got the Cat Buff, Prime, uh, Arcane Avenger, and... Shadow Haze kind of picking up the slack for the crit chance there. So it's not super mandatory, but it's super nice because I'm able to mid-max the build and run all sorts of other things. But like you see in this gameplay here, it's completely insane. Uh, you're just doing so much damage, especially with Shaka and Vendetta. Uh, you're just pumping all that damage. I'm getting all my actual true damage from, uh, you know, Galvanized Savvy. Um, and then when, I'm not even using Eclipse here. I'm just kind of showing you without Eclipse. And it's still one-shotting them for the most part. Uh, when you get the Shotgun Vendetta going and you aim for the head, it's just absolutely insane. And then when you activate Eclipse, now you're in the hundreds of thousands of damage, close to a million. For a shotgun, pellet shotgun, arm cannon, absolutely nuts. So here's, here's some more gameplay here, especially with Eclipse. Priming them up. Missing my shots, obviously. Activate the one. Boom. 300k. 273. 338. 432. I mean, you're just doing so much insane damage, um, and the, the alt fire is critting somewhat, but that's why I like the cat buff for the alt fire, because it gives it orange crits, and like you saw at the very beginning, it melts those enemies like butter. It's absolutely insane, and uh, again, go try this build right now. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Go try this build. Obviously, if you don't have a Riven, just figure it out with uh, what status you're primarily looking to use against which faction. I highly recommend you use Heat because it is so, so, so good uh, with, you know, mitigating the armor. And uh, it already comes with base viral, so uh, probably aim for Corrosive because that alt fire is super nice and Corrosive is really good against the uh, high armored targets. Um, and obviously if you want to use like a Smita Kavat or if you want to use a Vulpophila, you can get viral that way as well. Um, and then the Smita Kavat obviously adds that extra crit chance. Now it does kind of mess up the main fire and you'll be getting oranges instead of reds, but honestly, who cares? Um, the damage is insane. Go try this build out. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.